Hi everyone, I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV and we are here at the Edge of Reboot World Tour 2016. We just had the uh, final over for the Master Overclocking Arena Europe for the Edge of Reboot World Series leg for Europe. I've been joined with uh, Dan Cup, um, currently number two in the ranking. Thank you, Truth. Uh, Hi. That, that was a, a quite a big surprise, not you being number two, but you not even being able to submit any score in the final. Yeah, for me as well. Trust me, it it, it was very uh, yeah annoying to <laughs> try to boot and boot and boot and yeah, I was just not able to come into the OS. Well, that's uh, that's sad. So definitely, uh, that's is that the main reason why you didn't veto 3D Mark 11 physics? Uh, yes. Exactly. You could that. have just vetoed it just for the fun. Yeah, no, for what? I mean, uh, I, I knew it half an hour before that I'm not able to boot it. And yeah, so why should I veto it? It was just <laughs> hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely hopeless. We could have seen that on your face uh, on, on the stream as well. It was crazy to, to see you struggling to, like, I have no idea how this could not even boot. So how did you yeah. feel at that point? Uh, honestly, I, it, it was just, I've never seen that before. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm benching quite often and never, ever before something like that. It was recognizing the SSD, but it wasn't able to boot. And then we have tested several SSDs in some like 10 pieces and it was just not able to boot. That, that's crazy, and especially at this level, because you spent uh, three hours yesterday in the qualifier and you were... Yes going quite strong in that one. Can you tell us more about uh, your, your process doing the, the few benchmark that you had to do for the qualifier? Uh, in the qualifier, I, I focused first the 32 up, as I usually do, because it's it's by far the longest benchmark and it can uh, just uh, crash in loop 24 and you have to start it from, from, from the scratch again. And it's like 4 minutes and 30 seconds more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the that's a, a main issue with 32M. And if you have a good 32M score and the memory is uh, quite stable at 32M, it's, it's also stable in all the other benchmarks. So just run the other benchmarks afterwards and, and you have three scores. And I think A score is better than no score. So just do all the three and it should be quite safe. Well, A score is better than no score? Uh, can you remind me what score you did in the final? Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> so, oh, sorry. I think the dad said I have an issue or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, yeah annoying. Yeah, that that was uh, that was actually in fun for us to do the commentary as well on the live. But for you, it must be like so. Um, you must be so pissed off that you could not even try to compete against pool shooter. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I mean. We know each other and uh, we are pretty close, so it's it's not a problem for me. And seeing his score, uh, I mean, I've I've done it in a semi-final, the same, 3D Mark 11. I was maxing out my CPU as much as it could go, and I saw his score and I was like, okay, I would have lost anyway. You would have vetoed it anyway. <laughs> then then yeah. Uh, speaking of the uh, semi-final, uh, you were pushing the CPU over two volts. Yes. Did, I did you ever went that far on the CPU before? Yes, at home, with my own golden chip. I did it. If it scales, it scales. If it dies, it dies. That's part of the game, isn't it? It is. Just um, make some scores. Yeah, yeah. The the point is always make a score so you can at least get on the ranking. Oh, yes. You ma make a score. Isn't what did you do for the final then? Uh, <laughs> no idea. <laughs> You're so polite. That that will that would be going on that joke. I'm pretty sure that joke will go on for for quite some time. So, yeah, sure. uh, I guess you will try to um to 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 qualify and to uh, get your tickets for the Edge World Championship to in December in Computex early June. Yeah, I will. So that's I your will. plan. You will prepare for that one, especially from now on. You will just prepare for this competition. Yes. Yes, definitely. That's that's my next goal. I mean, I have to be in Berlin just to meet Roman at his place at work. <laughs> because for people that don't know you yet, you're German, so you live uh, in Germany. But Germany is quite a big country, so you see that. Yeah. You have Roman. a good reason to travel halfway through the to the complete uh, country. Yeah, it's it's not always possible. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm quite much driving around Europe uh, due to my usual job, but I'm not often in Berlin, and it's a quite Beautiful city, so it would be nice to be there for a weekend and compete against the entire world. I mean, there's South Africa, South uh, America, America itself, right? Yeah, or is it? Yeah, so a lot of countries. That, 
that will be interesting. That will be in December, end of this year. But uh, before that, we still have a uh, North America stop in three weeks. That will be live here. Um, uh, we will have the replay on YouTube, and that will be live on our Twitch channel. And Dan Cup, uh, talking about the world tour in general, um, the, the concept of having a gathering here in Europe, uh, did, I did happen last year as well, and this year again, it's getting bigger. Um, how was your experience uh, coming here for the world tour? Yeah, it was great. I mean, all the guys, I, I knew some of them, not all of them, and the community is just great. I mean, uh, you can talk about uh, stuff uh, your relatives don't understand, for example, yeah? And and all the people who are very close to you always say, oh, he's he's sitting downstairs and playing games, but, but I don't, yeah? I'm simply doing something else and when you come here to the crowd uh, who do the same in their um, rooms uh, yeah it's it's much easier to communicate about what you are doing <laughs> yeah that's a that's a hobby and it's a niche hobby as well yeah um, yeah yeah um, what would you say to uh, to to people that would start and say it's like oh what is this and why are you doing this because you're currently the number one in the world you're currently on top of the ranking yes so this is an advice from the top guy uh, it's pretty hard. I mean, you you need you need the passion for overclocking. Um, once you get started and and raise some clocks and see some gains in terms of FPS in a game, then then yeah, it it might make some fun for you. And afterwards, you try to push it even more and more. And what what can I do for even more FPS? I have to push the voltage. Then maybe it gets too hot, so I need another cooling system. Maybe water. Maybe some more like dice or LN2. And that's that's how you get into overclocking. And when you're into overclocking, uh, yeah, there, there is a certain point where you try to compete in competitions like this, the MOA, HW Board World Tour, or some some other competitions like all the online competitions from HW Bot. You can do it at home. It's uh, pretty pretty easy. You don't have to travel. So um, yeah, overclocking makes a lot of fun. And it takes up a lot of uh, your time as well, I guess. Yeah, time is uh, uh, is the most limiting factor, definitely. Interesting. Well, thank you very much for your time, Dan Cop. Uh, congratulations again on being second. Still, uh, thank you, you. you're going on with some uh, good hardware and a decent cash price. So, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, we will definitely see you at the uh, event to be happening during Computex week, early yes. June. Uh, so that's going to be the World Tour Asia, uh, the Computex stop. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see uh, the video of the winner, Bull Shooter, you can find it on our YouTube channel. If you want to see when we are going live for the next few events, the World Tour or the OC Show, our weekly uh, show and bi-weekly uh, recording podcast, you can always find us on twitch.tv forward slash overclocking TV. Don't forget, until next time, keep pushing it. Keep pushing, guys. <laughs>